Welcome to Geneva for the AI for Good Global Summit 2019. I am delighted to be joined by Joelle Castex, board member of the Zero Abuse Project, an organization that aims to eliminate uh, child sexual abuse and a sponsor of the AI for Good Global Summit. Joelle, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. So Joelle, first of all, tell us a bit more about the Zero Abuse Project because you use innovative technology to fight the online abuse of children. Yeah, so we have an AI platform and it's called zeroabuse.ai and we take publicly available data to help institutions investigate child sexual abuse and then detect where that abuse might be covered up within an institution's walls. And tell us about the success rates compared to more traditional methods. Well, usually what's hap what happens is that most institutions and most uh, organizations in general try to track individual predators. And that's very difficult because predators are cunning and predators, are they vary from location to location. We use a very different approach. We track institutional behavior in reaction to predators. Institutions cannot change. And we have years and years of data on our control set, the US Catholic Church. And so we're able to track these institutional reactions that show these amazing patterns of how an institution reacts to someone they believe is a predator. And because an institution is an institution is an institution, we can use these AI findings to partner with other institutions that really want to go in and make a revolutionary change and make sure that their institutions are safer for children and our world is a safer place. Joelle, we spoke a year ago, you were here uh, in Geneva at the time. Um, what progress have you made in the meantime? Has the platform changed at all? Have you made some uh, changes to it? Well, last year we, were, we really had an aspiration. We had a dream and now we are well on our way to an application. We have partnered with Neil Sahoda and Technosis, our technical partner. We have almost completed our basic database and we will be at a minimum viable product at the end of this year. So as sponsors of the summit, um, Tell us about the uh, outcome you'd like to see uh, at the end of those you know, five days discussing AI and AI as, as a force for good. AI has a tremendous force for good because it is a real game changer in the way that we look at technology. And because we're thinking outside of the box, we can really change the way that not only the, the, the uh, first world thinks about it, but we can make a difference in the developing world. And that's where we're seeing a real problem with child sexual abuse not being addressed the way it should be. So we're hoping that zero abuse.ai can not only go into institutions in the United States and Europe, but really help the developing world in making sure that areas that have not seen great developments in civil and criminal laws, really we can go in and help institutions make them, make them much safer and make sure that every child is safer from child sexual abuse. And AI is really the platform upon which we can build a safer world. And you have mentioned that you work with different stakeholders. Collaboration is important, <laughs> isn't it? It's not just about technology. No, partnerships are vitally important. An AI platform, can we can't just go in and say, hey, we're zero abuse and we want to solve the problem. It's our partners that will enable us to end abuse. We can go in with a dream, but we can't build an application without partnerships. We cannot end child sexual abuse within, within institutions, without institutional partnerships, without people coming in and saying, we want our walls to be a safer place for children. Everything requires <laughs> partnerships and everything requires a worldwide effort because we can't make the world safer unless we have people coming in together and saying, we're going to come together and make the world a safer place. Well, Joelle, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.